This is 1.5, part 2, continuing with our properties of exponent problems. We're going to simplify this example number 8. Number 8 has um, an exponent with a base x raised to the negative 1 power. Um, we want to make sure that negative 1 power is not a negative. So what you do is you bring that x down to the denominator, and now you make that power a1. Next example, number 9, the exponent is also a negative in the denominator, so now we do the opposite. We bring that denominator, x to the negative 2 power, up to the top. So this x to the negative 2 power piece, this is going to go up to the numerator and make it a positive x squared. Where students make mistakes is they want to bring that 3 up with it. It is not true. So it's 1 times x squared, and then the 3 stays underneath. So it is x squared over 3. Example 10, 5 raised to the 0 power. One of the properties that says, if we have anything raised to the 0 power, then it is 1. Last set of examples, number 11. We have 12a cubed b to the negative of fourth over 4 a to the negative 2 times b. So what I tend to do with these problems is I want to clean up any of those negative exponents. So I'm going to bring this b to the negative 4 down to the denominator, and I'm going to bring that a to the negative 2 up to the numerator. So it looks like this. The 12 and the a cubed are still in the numerator, but now I'm going to bring that a to the negative 2 up to the numerator as a squared. Now in the denominator, the 4 stays in the denominator, the b stays in the denominator, and now this b to the negative fourth goes down to the denominator. And now let's clean it up. First thing we can do is take those a cubed and a squared, those are the same base, so we can add those exponents. Then the denominator, same thing, we have a b to the one and b to the fourth. So that can be b to the fifth. Now let's see what we can simplify. Well, 12 and 4 can reduce by 4. So we reduce it by 4, we get 3 and 1. So our final answer then is 3a to the fifth over 1 times b to the fifth, or just b to the fifth. Last example. You can do this problem two ways. One thing you can notice is there's a negative 2 power. So you can either distribute, 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 or, I'm going to erase that, there's a negative exponent. So the rule is if you have a negative exponent, you can flip it. So this y now becomes the numerator. The 3x squared, now comes the denominator, and now you have a positive 2 power that now you can distribute. So we distribute it into this fraction and then that fraction. So it's y squared over 3x squared squared. Well, the numerator stays as it is, but then the denominator, I have to distribute again. 3 times 3 is 9. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. We've now completed our lesson for lesson 1.5 on exponents.